are you everybody? Welcome to another edition of the vlog. We're keeping things rolling here. Of course, you guys know what's up. You guys know it's Kasai week. You guys know we got Kasai Pro 5 coming up on April 6th. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, Reed, what the heck are you doing in a car, driving on some road? I thought you were in New York City. You're supposed to be walking around the city. Yes, I hear you. I hear you. But there's a little gym just outside the city that I absolutely had to make the trip out and see. I, I've been meaning to go to this gym, 10th Planet Bethlehem. That's where I'm headed right now. We are on our way, and the main focus today is going to be a guy named Thor. John Blank, you may have known him. He's the combat jiu-jitsu world champion. He's made a lot of waves lately in the ADCC trials, in EBI, in combat jiu-jitsu. Uh, and this is his home gym. So this is really a, an East Coast hub for 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu. They're clearly doing something special out in 10th Planet Bethlehem. They have a lot of elite grapplers making waves on the scene, being led by John Blank. So I'm excited to go to their gym, see what's in the water here in Bethlehem, and see what these guys are doing to produce such elite grapplers. Right now we're at 10 Planet in Bethlehem. Me and uh, JM are just on the cusp of flying to Japan tomorrow. A little bit nervous. Uh, Grace competing out there in the quintet. And then uh, Thor is here just putting the finishing touches on a, another last minute replacement job for Kasai. So this is gonna be crazy. We got a big weekend. We're going to Japan tomorrow. We're going to Japan tomorrow. Thor's in Kasai this weekend. It's a crazy weekend. I'm not, I'm not even really ready for it. Big weekend for Thor. He's been training his ass off, being ready all the time, just because we're in these kind of situations all the time. Like Thor's, like if Thor's ready, why can't he just fight whoever? You know what I mean? So it's a cool opportunity for him. I'm psyched for him. A lot of people are just—he's just gonna go show everybody who he is. I'm psyched for him. Oh yeah, I think he's ready for sure. Like he's always in shape. Um, he's working out all the time. He's always putting in work. He's, he works a full-time job where he's working 50 hours a week, and he's still training more than most people. So he's, yeah, I believe he's more than ready, and uh, I think he's going to surprise a lot of people too. I know it is points, so it's not our usual thing, but a lot of people don't realize he can wrestle too. So I'm um, interested to see how he matches up with these guys. I can't wait. If I can put this far hook in this side, it's like 80% I'm taking the back or the truck. You just got to get a deep hook. You just got to know what you're doing. Sometimes you don't take the truck. Sometimes you just get up, boom, you throw that hook in, boom, and you just hold on to his body. You know what I mean? I got that hook in now. Now it's just, there's the truck right there. He's about to get twisted. I'm about to twist him, the crowd's going crazy. He turns, he limp arms, turns away. I'm gonna be like, no! I don't let go of that wrist. And I go get that shoulder hook. If I let go of this wrist as he turns away, he's gone. You know what I mean? He's gonna turn away. So you gotta hold on to dude when you throw that far hook in, right? It's tough. This isn't a simple move. You know what I mean? There's like a force I'm putting on my partner, right? You gotta figure it out. Okay, let's go, I'll be around. One, two, three. Let's go. My name's John Blank. I train out of 10th Planet Bethlehem and I'm a black belt. Uh, my favorite submission is definitely the arm bar. I like to snatch it from some funky angles. Uh, there's a lot of videos of those, but. Uh... And another scramble as Quinn looks to secure on top. Blank trying to invert his way. Oh, to the back look at this! Oh! oh. I try to do a little bit of the 10th Planet style, a little bit of the more traditional stuff, just uh, it's my own little mix. I want to see who's in this group. I don't know who's in this group yet, but we'll see what comes out of this group. I want to see that Craig Jones match. I know that. I'm really uh, want to see Thor against Craig Jones. Uh, Felipe Pena would be sick. Like if you got to go against Felipe, that would be amazing because he's just getting all these crazy looks. You know, it's not even a step up. He's just faced Yuri and he's facing Kevin Casey and he's facing black belts. I mean, he's a black belt now, but he's getting a crack at all these guys. And he was getting a little frustrated that after he won EBI that he didn't really get a lot of the matches right away. And I was like, dude, just be, be patient. You're young, and then these opportunities come. And now I think after a couple more times, he won't be a late, late replacement anymore. They'll just he'll be the number one guy in there. So that's what I think. I'm biased. I'm going for heads. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's the way I always do it. I don't, I don't care about, I don't want to win on points. I want to go out there and I want to submit some people. I want to make a name for myself out there. This is my job. Thor's trying to make it his job. You know, he's still working right now, a full-time gig, but he's trying to make it so, you know, he can just be training like seven, like two times a day, six days a week, you know what I mean? Like, most guys are training like that. He's training, you know, less than that. No, yeah, I, I work a full-time job. I was actually at work when I got the, uh, the word that I was going to be in the tournament, or that I got offered to be in the tournament, rather. So, uh, it's pretty cool. I work as a substation electrician for the local power company, so I'm putting in at least 40 hours a week every week. Wow, so when you tell me a uh, substation... Electrician. Electrician. Yeah. What that, that means? Um, kind of like a lineman, if you know what that is. I work on the high voltage lines, so basically where the big transmission towers go down to the lines that are outside your house, working on transformers, circuit breakers, things like that. Anything from you know, 110 volts up to 500,000. Thank you so much, John. Thank you. <laughs> That's good. Man. That's some, that's some elite grappling right there, for sure. <laughs> that's some high-level stuff. I think, man, I think it's just, uh, you know, some of the old, uh, you know, things that people say all the time, like hard work and just mat time. You know, any time years ago when me and Jam first started, we would ask people, like, you know, the best guys, like Eddie Bravo, John Jock, you know, Daniel Gracie. We'd ask anybody we can get our hands on, like, what, what's the thing, what, what, what can I do? I'd roll with them, they you know, kick my butt, and they'd be like, what can I do to get better? And they would just say mat time. And that's pretty much what we did. We just kept putting in mat time. And um, we have a really good team. Like, our guys really, we believe in each other. Everybody supports each other and uh, we're on the same page and it's just been working so we're just gonna keep it the same you know but I, like I said I think it's just it's just mad time just putting in the work and believing in each other too that's huge same <laughs> eyes open for this guy I'm gonna surprise some people we got a lot of camera horse All right, there you have it, guys. All wrapped up here at 10th Planet Bethlehem. I'm all sweaty. I'm feeling pretty, pretty beat right now. Gonna drive back to the city, but uh, man, got to roll with John Blank. What a killer that guy is. He was on my neck, on my arm, on my legs. I couldn't get him off of me. Uh, definitely, I, I'm just that much more excited to see John mix it up with guys like Felipe, uh, Jackson Souza, Kynan Duarte. Uh, I think he's going to be a, a real disruptor in this Kasai Pro 5 tournament. I can't really wait for it. And it turns out, here at 10th Planet Bethlehem, the, the, the recipe for success for these guys is just a lot of mat time, some good vibes, some good roles, good people, and a lot of high-level technique. So there you have it. That's all it takes. All you got to do is just come in day after day after day after day, have some fun, and who knows? Maybe you can be as good as John Blank one day. I doubt it. But anyway, I want to say thank for the guys at 10th Planet Bethlehem for having me. Really, really appreciate it. But uh, what a fun time, man. Just a few more days tomorrow. I'm going to be going to some more gyms, and then the next day after that, visiting a few more. So I hope you guys will follow along the vlog, and I hope you guys are having some fun. I know I am. So I'll see you guys next time.